I'm going to do a Terrence Crawford and Errol Spencer video. Um, I know I do talk about art, entirely mainstream though. The way it is, I'm really tired. I'm going to go sleep sleep. Wake up again. Um, yeah, I think Terrence is going to win. It's make it quick. I'll break it out more in the video, but Terrence has a very slick defense, very, very good. Selective counter punching, very, very good. Selective, um, even when he's pressure, um, he's pressuring his opponents, he has a very, very good um, pressuring. He just goes, whoosh, whoosh. he really tries to fire that punch. He only, not only like, I think he might be power power number two after if he beats Errol, he's in the power number two. If not, then he, he, he goes way down. And if he goes to the draw, then I think that changes. But um, Errol is right now number six, power for pound. I think we go through the Anyways, with the Terence Crawford and Errol Spence fi Jr. fight coming up, I think Spence will do extremely well, of course. He's a very slick boxer, very good power puncher and everything. But, like, I think Terence just has more skill set, more skills within his skill set. And it might change. I might be fucking wrong, bro. Like, everyone is saying Spence is going to win, Spence is going to win, Spence is going to win. But, like, I might be wrong saying Terence is going to win. But, I don't know. I, I genuinely think Terence Crawford is going to win that fight. Um, yeah, what's, what's his pro predict? Many reasons why he thinks his pick will dominate Crawford. He said that Terrence may have a versatile skill set, but Spence is just bigger and stronger than him. And that's not something to underestimate in a boxing match. Errol's high work rate is also a factor that'll make things difficult for Bud, as he'll have to up his pace a lot while also maintaining top shape. Then there's the age matter. Seeing as Crawford is three years older than Spence, both of them are aging out of their prime and need to be extra careful about cardio and weight regulations. If the match potentially reaches the 12 round mark, it could be pretty difficult for Terrence to dodge Errol's leg attacks since the man's simply not young enough to withstand that. Plus, his opponents at 147 have been all regular names. The most impressive being Porter or Garcia. So that's something that, that puts his credibility to the test. Algieri didn't leave out Spence's injury. No. Both. Okay, you're, you're ignoring Cal Brook here. And Cal Brook, Prince, even Prince Nassim Mohammed was, um, um, was really, really highlighting. And yeah, Cal Brook is a legitimate opposition. We have the box right right here. We can see the record of thing. Sean Porter, obviously, very big win. Amir Khan, big win. Jose Benavidez Jr. big win. He knocked out uh, Jose Benavidez Jr. Somewhere down the line, you can see um Cal Brooks as well. I'm sure it is. Where the hell? Because Cal Brooks for both. Yeah, Cal Brook, big win. Come on, man. He lost two rounds on the scorecard. This is a scorecard, correct? I'm not sure. <laughs> what the match, bro? Forty and three. We need a record. Um, the special one, special K. Or specials. <laughs> okay. Wait a minute. I think I know where this gym goes. Where this guy, uh, gym this guy goes to. Ain't no way. Um. Yeah, just interesting. It's very interesting. Sean Porter, there's a lot, Sean Porter's lost, it was kind of sad because you can see Sean Porter punching the ground and everything, it's, um, it's quite unfortunate. Four losses, it hurts. It's very good record though, 30 and 4, 31 and 4, uh, it's tough, it happens bro. GG. <laughs> I'll take the rest of this. Um, yeah, when it comes to amateur record as well, um, Spence has a, a much bigger amateur record than uh, Crawford, Spence has like a 262. Uh, wins and 12 losses amateur record and Spence has like a 56 and wins and 12 losses amateur record so it's incredibly, incredibly different um yeah the truth it's a it's a quite a it's quite a lot uh both of them want, have wins over Cal Brook both of them have wins over Sean Porter Danny Garcia as well a lot of good guys in the division um I think they do deserve their spots in top 10 top of the power but um, I think Crawford is just barely going to scrape by him. This, might, this is going to be a 40 and 0 Crawford coming out of this. Definitely. 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 Trust me, daddy.
Pause. Though, saying that while he had the better competition, Terrence wasn't the one with two car accidents and a torn retina, so there are a lot of situations to consider. That's very unfortunate as well. That might cost him the fight. I know what it's like going into a fight blind. Look at me. My dumb, my dumb, my dumb ass has glasses. I was born with glasses. So fucking annoying. But... He's still pro Spence, though he is open to changing his bets later on as the fight gets nearer. To his credit, Spence is completely confident in his abilities to take down his opponent, saying that he'll break him physically and mentally. He has glasses too? Sheesh. Those Damn. are some bold claims to make against a fighter who's being favored over you, even if it is just a slight edge. But he said a lot more on the kickoff press conference for the July 29th showdown, especially about his opponent's mentality, about how he's definitely going to fight and make it a great show for the crowd. Spence does feel like he's the superior fighter, though, and even mentioned how most fighters were just too light in the ass for him. Comparing Crawford to Danny Garcia, the truth said that both were great fighters, with Terrence being faster and quicker, and Garcia being the best counterpuncher in the world. Errol has a long history of facing off against some of the best counterpunchers in the game, so that shouldn't be too big of a problem for him when it comes to Crawford. And he's pretty aware of the impact of this fight, too, claiming that that it will be legacy defining for both of them and that if Definitely. it didn't happen it would have been a dent in their legacies the boxer even said that this is the type of fight people will be talking about for 20 to 30 years to come and that the next two generations <coughs> you know what reminds me of <coughs> a bit of a sugar ray leonard and tommy hearns um crawford he reminds me of tommy hearns and spence reminds me of sugar ray leonard even though you know He's not as tall as Tommy Hearns, and he's not as short as Sugar Ray Leonard. Uh, they're quite evenly heightened. He's a bit taller, actually. I know it's um, it will be a good rivalry, a ri rivalry, and it will be a probably good fight. I think Crawford might edge out the win. If not, it might go to split decision. Maybe Spence. Maybe. It's a 50-50 fight, bro. Like it's hard to say like who's gonna win. It genuinely is hard to say. But if you go on off pure KO TKO record alone. Terence has much better KO TKO, TKO um, record. So yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's just, what does he? Sorry, does. Okay, let's look. He's got thirty KOs, and Errol Spence has twenty-two KOs. Yeah, better KO record. We have more fights as well, so. I, I think he'll keep up. I think he'll catch up with uh, Kales. If 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 his case stays on the same streak, if he's if he's thirty two, you'll have thirty. Yeah, my my brain lagging. If he has thirty six wins, he'll he'll get thirty Kales. So he'll be ahead of. What what does that mean? What is Kale percentage? Does it not say here? Box um, amateur. About seventy seven. All points, uh, points wins. This is box amateur round seven seven. I thought I thought more though. Thirty six. Why do they have that many wins? What's going on here? What's going on here? Nebraska, Texas, Long Island. Interesting. It was number one in two or five. That's crazy. Jamal James. Why does it sound so familiar? Adrian Borner. How is Adrian Borner still here? Lost to Manny Pacquiao, lost to Mikey Garcia, lost to Sean Porter, lost to Marcos Maidana. That's tough. He's 16th, which is crazy. Adrian, the problem, Borner. I wish he, he is coming back though, is he not? 2023 to 96 for Bill Hutchinson. 
One star fight? Interesting. Yeah, wow. I, I didn't know this, but um, I'll watch it on YouTube later. Yeah, I think Terrence is going to win. Apologize for the scuff video. And I'll see you around next time. Catch you later. Catch you later, peace.